Hello there. In this name animation, I'm going to show you how to use motion tweens to create your name animation. I'm going to create a new Flash file. In, I'm in Flash CS4, Action Script 3. I'm going to grab the text tool. I'm going to make sure I'm in static text. I've made a nice size here of 180. I'm going to click out here outside the stage. I'm going to click once. I'm going to put in my favorite letter, the letter J. I'm going to select my selection tool. Before I do a motion tween, I always have to modify and convert this to a symbol. Once I've converted it to a symbol, I can give it the letter J, name it J. It also appears in my library there in case I need to use it again. I'm going to right click on the J and create a motion tween. Flash automatically adds frames. Okay, I'm going to change this to 30. And I'm going to move this J to where I want it to go, here. And then Flash fills in, and if I press Enter, it fills in all the frames. So it's a little bit better than your frame-by-frame -frame animation. A couple things you can do. If I get bring my arrow close to the line, I can curve it, go back to the beginning, press Enter, and my J will have a unique path. Another thing I can do is I can click at the beginning. In my properties, I can change the alpha, so that's the transparency to zero. I can go here at the end, click on my J, and make the alpha 100%. Press enter, and now my J is going to start off disappeared and become bigger. Let's say I want to add a new letter here. I can make a new layer. I'm going to call this O. I'm going to call this J. I want the O to start here. I'm going to right click, insert a blank keyframe. I'm telling Flash that I want that O to show up right there. Click on the text tool, click here, O, modify, convert to symbol, O. Now watch what happens. I'm going to convert this to a motion tween. I'm going to click here because I want the O to come up here. And I also want the O to get a little bit smaller, so it's going to get something like that. I'm going to click here, press enter, and my O is there. Let's say I want those letters to stay there for a bit. I can click here, add more frames. I want the letter S to come in. Right here, I'm going to insert a blank keyframe. Go here, S. Modify, convert to symbol, OK. Motion tween, I'm going to go here and I'm going to move my S to where I want it to go. Now this time, when I click on the line, I want it to rotate. I want the S to do some funky spins. In my properties here, after I've clicked on the line, I can change the rotation to 2. And I can make it go counterclockwise. Now watch what happens. It's going to do a fun spin motion. Everything's happening a little bit fast, so let's say I want that to be slower. If I bring my arrow tool close to the end, I can click and drag out. And that will make my S spin a little bit slower. My O and my J disappear, so I need to add more keyframes here. Go back to the beginning, press Enter, and there we go. I've got a good start for my name animation. As you can see, you can do lots of fun things in Flash using motion tweens, uh, rotating, and changing the transparencies. Have fun.